So, when you think about an idiom, what comes to mind? There's this particular idiom I like. When we get to the bridge, we'll cross it. Which simply means that when or if a situation or an issue comes up, we would resolve it. So it's used especially when you're agitated about the future of something, an issue, and then because you just want to calm nerves and be optimistic, you use that to just save the day. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Fluently Speaking with Bola. My name is Amobola Ali Adeshi and I'm glad to have you join. If this is your first time, please subscribe, like, share, turn on the post notifications so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Today, we'll be talking about idioms. So, what is an idiom? An idiom is a group of words used in common expressions whose meaning is not deducible from the literal words. So you have a group of words, but to get the meaning of the idiom, you don't go by uh, defining what each word in the idiom means. So let's check out some common idioms you use in your daily conversations. Some of them you may not even be aware that you're using them, that what you're saying or what you're using is an idiom. But today you'd find out and then it will help you to use them better and also be more conversant with the idioms. The first idiom we're going to be looking at is to beat around the bush. What does it mean to beat around the bush? It simply means to avoid talking about a situation because you're not comfortable with it. And then we can talk about hitting the nail on the head, which is the direct opposite of beating around the bush. To hit the nail on the head means to go straight to the point and not dilly-dally or, you know, trying to cut corners. So the opposite of beating around the bush is hitting the nail on the head. The next idiom we're going to be talking about is don't judge a book by its cover. Now, this simply means not to judge something by its physical or its first appearance. And it can also be used, especially when ladies are trying to make a decision on who to marry. Sometimes it's not about the guy's appearance or it's not about the lady's appearance. It's the content. But of course, the appearance still matters. But I'm just trying to explain to help you better understand it. Don't count your chicken before they hatch. Now, this means don't make plans on an event that hasn't happened say for instance you're expecting some cash you've not received the cash but you're already making plans on the bags the shoes the <laughs> all the you know goodies of life you're going to purchase with it so this is just an advice so that you don't maybe get disappointed or frustrated or you know so that you don't get unhappy if eventually that event doesn't happen so don't count your chickens before they hatch. So feel under the weather. When you say someone feels under the weather, it means you're saying the person is sick or ill. So she didn't come to work yesterday because she was a bit under the weather. It means she didn't come to work yesterday because she was sick or ill. So get a taste of your own medicine. This simply means you're being treated the way you've been treating others. And most times it's usually an unfair, uh, maybe you've been treating others in an unfair way and then you get that same treatment. So it's like tit for tat, you're getting paid back in your own coin. Now that is another idiom, getting paid back in your own coin. Simply means getting treated the same way you treat other people. To kill two stones with one bed. <laughs> Rather. <laughs> okay. I was meant to say to kill two birds with one stone. Of course, you can't kill stones with a bird. What I'm saying is, and we use this a lot, to kill two birds with one stone simply means to accomplish two tasks at the same time, simultaneously, to let the cat out of the bag. It means sharing information that was meant to be a secret. We had the surprise all planned out to so Shola let the cat out of the bag. You know, you have some spoiled spots like that, that you can never keep any secrets with them. You can never plan surprises with them. They would always let the cat out of the bag. Let me know if you have such friends. Next, a penny for your thoughts. You ask this when you're trying to know what's going through someone's mind. But I like to say a cover for your thoughts since we use Naira and cover in Nigeria. 
So I'm just trying to know what's going through your mind. So a couple for your thoughts. Let's take a short break, visit the workup spot. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Let's move on to the next idiom. Actions speak louder than words. This is used especially when you have uh, someone who does more talking than acting. So when you say actions speak louder than words, you're simply saying your actions will tell me your intentions better than your words. So quit talking and act. To add insult to injury, making a bad situation worse. Let's go back to the drawing table. When you say, let's go back to the drawing table, you're saying, let's go and start all over again. It's usually used when a plan doesn't work out as planned. So you go back to the drawing table, meaning you start all over again. So what does it mean to say something is the best thing since sliced bread? Can you try? It simply means it's a good plan, an innovation or a good invention. Best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> To cost an arm and a leg. I know you're already guessing the meaning. It's used to describe something that is so expensive. So I would have bought the house, but it would have cost me an arm and a leg. It means you can't afford the house because it is too expensive. To so cry over spilled milk. To so cry or to lament over a situation that happened in the past. For instance, something you have no control over, crying over it, something you cannot help. It means you're crying over spilt milk. Curiosity killed the cat. So you say this, I remember one of my friends used to say this a lot because <laughs> I am, okay, should I say I'm known or I was known? I think I still do it. I ask a lot of questions. And so he used to tell me, curiosity killed the cat. It means being inquisitive or asking too many questions can lead to an unpleasant situation. Finally, it takes two to tango. It means actions or communication need more than one person. You need two people to communicate. And that's why I'm here because you are there watching me. It would make no sense if I'm here if you're not there watching me. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. This is why I say my goodbye. I'm going to drop some idioms at the end of the video. That will be the quiz of the week. Let's see if you know the meaning of these idioms. And then I'll see you next week. Don't forget to check out my other videos right here. Bye.